Hey there, it's Dave here. I just wanted to share with you a quick video on how to connect a mouse to your iPad. Uh, this is a really cool new tool for iPad and I find it really great for not only navigating through your iPad but also creating instructional videos for students on how to uh, do things on their iPad uh, with the mouse and the pointer. It allows them to see where you're moving and what you're clicking on uh, and selecting on the iPad, which you haven't been able to do before uh, on an iPad. So I think this is a really good way of uh, creating those instructional videos or tutorials for students to learn more about how to use the iPad. So I'll just share with you how to turn that on. So you're going to come over to the settings tab and you come across where well, you actually would think you'd go to Bluetooth if you're going to connect a Bluetooth mouse but uh, that's not the case uh, so don't try and add a Bluetooth mouse via the Bluetooth settings you need to come down here to the accessibility tools and come across to the touch then go to assistive touch and come down here to devices you then choose the Bluetooth devices here and then you turn your Bluetooth device or mouse on. Uh, it'll then become discoverable as a paired device and you connect to it that way. I've found uh, that can be a little bit problematic and I've had to try it a few different times on, on different mice. So just the pairing of the Bluetooth, make sure that you haven't had it connected to a, a, another Mac and it's connecting to that by default or any other device. So you need to sever the ties from any other paired device with that mouse before it will become discoverable here on your iPad. All right, so I've actually am using a corded mouse with a dongle and that's it here. So as I click on it, what you can also do is you can customize buttons. So by clicking on adding customize buttons, you then choose a button on your mouse and then you've got all these options uh, that you can choose from that what you would like that button on your mouse to do. So if you're using a magic mouse, uh, there are no buttons on it, but there are gestures. So you can swap the buttons for gestures. But if you're using a, a different type of Bluetooth mouse with lots of buttons on it, you can assign those buttons all these different options. So I might just have this one as control center, for example. As the mouse goes over an option, it kind of snaps around it as a to identify it. So it's a really good visible way of knowing what you've selected with the mouse as well. So now that you've done that, you can then navigate your way back home. Well, because I have a button set up as home, I can just press that button on the mouse now and I can navigate to the home function on the iPad, which is, is very cool. Other features you might want to be aware of. So if you come back to accessibility and then go to the uh, pointer controls just here. This is where you can change the appearance of the mouse. So if you come down here to color, uh, there's lots of different colors to choose from and you can also come down here and change the stroke size. The strokes the outside line of your uh, circle or pointer and I like the red uh, so I'm just going to go back and choose pointer control again and you have things like uh, increasing the contrast which just makes it a bit darker in the inside of that circle you then have if you want to hide the pointer if you're not touching your mouse it will hide after four seconds you can then also change the pointer size just by moving that slider across so here's how big it can get and how small it can get I'm going to find a happy sort of medium around there you can also have things like pointer animations and a scrolling speed for your mouse as well. So there's some really cool new features of being able to use a mouse as a pointer for your iPad. What I like about it is you come up here and record your clips. I can't do it because I'm air playing at the moment, but you could press on the record screen option and then you could create your videos with this pointer or mouse pointer you could then use the screen record option and then create videos with the pointer on your screen. I find that's a great way to create instructional videos and your students are going to love seeing where you're pointing rather than just guessing where you're clicking with your finger. So by connecting your mouse to the iPad, you get features like, uh, say for example, you had a image on a website that you wanted to 
to copy or add to your photos. So by right clicking on your mouse now, you get the secondary function that you would normally get by doing a long press on an image or an option on your iPad. So obviously I can hit share, add to photos, or I can copy. So that's the same for any option on the iPad. You can basically now come up and right click on any object and you bring up the secondary function for uh, that particular application. So that's how you use the mouse with iPad and using the pointer features. I think it's gonna be a great way for teachers to create instructional videos for students on their iPad. Okay, so hopefully now you can see that the mouse is a, and pointer is a great new tool for iPad. And it's gonna, not only does it allow you to navigate through the iPad easier, it's a great way of creating instructional videos for students because they can see exactly what you're clicking on and it means you don't have to go and add uh, annotations or extra features when editing your videos. It's So everyone can see what you're clicking on and it just makes it so much easier to create those instructional videos that are really helpful for students, especially during this period of remote and, and flexible learning. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any other issues around iPad or so on, just reach out and I'm more than happy to help.